One of the most fundamental lessons that we have to learn is that every time you open your eyes, every time you listen to something, you are not seeing what is out there. You are not hearing what is out there. The mind is constantly interpreting. And it is the interpretation of the mind that you are seeing, that you are hearing. Not knowing that is what causes all the chaos in the world. Because the human being is obsessed with trying to fix the world. But the world that the human being is trying to fix is not out there. <laughs> the world that the human being is trying to fix does only exist inside that particular human being. That is very important to learn. That is one of, if not the, misunderstanding, the ignorance that creates the most suffering. not only for other peoples, but also towards oneself. Trying to fix something that does not even exist. How do you do that? It is, of course, impossible. <clears throat> but it is in the very trying that the human being is manifesting suffering on an immense scale. not being able to understand that we do not see the world as it is, but that we, that we actually see the world as we are, not being able to understand that and see that very clearly, puts us inside a mental prison And the awakening out of this mental prison is realizing that my mind is interpreting everything. And it is doing it 
completely automatic. And that it is this interpretation that I am acting upon, that I am taking to be the truth. When we start to intuit the the consequences of this confusion, then we start to <clears throat> then we start to handle our own opinions much, much more gentle. we start being much, much more hmm, what to call it, easy on ourselves. And we start to slow down. Slowing down is very important. Because if we do not slow down, it is simply this programming that is running the game. There are no freedom within that. We are simply slaves of our mind. And this is not often talked about because to the mind, to the conditioned mind, this is very controversial. The conditioned mind do certainly not want to hear this message. The conditioned mind is on a crusade. <laughs> It wants to impose its ideas upon the world. And the conditioned mind thinks that I cannot be free or liberated before the world is exactly how I want it to be or how I perceive it to be. And that is why every time you are confronted with something that is not in accordance with the conditioning of your mind, every time you are confronted with that, there is an emotional response. And that emotional response is then dragging you around. It is in control of you. You are being possessed by those emotional responses. There are no freedom in that whatsoever. Not knowing that this is what is going on is true ignorance. Break the spell of this ignorance. One way that you can do that, one way that you could do that, Go out into nature. Listen to the birds. When the birds are singing, there is nothing to interpret. There is nothing for the mind to do. 
When you are listening to the birds, you are closer to reality than anywhere else. Go down to the beach, listen to the ocean, listen to the waves, listen to the wind in the trees, listen to the wind blowing the leaves in the trees. There is nothing to interpret there. But the mind gets restless. This is boring. <laughs> and the reason for this is that the mind has nothing to do. But that is just fine. Rest there. Get in touch with reality. Learn how to perceive reality without interpretations. Slow down. Train yourself to slow down. When you slow down, you train yourself to stop reacting all the time. Reacting is you being a robot. Reacting is you being possessed by the interpretations of the mind. There are no freedom in that, my dear friend. The mind is constantly interpreting everything that you are confronted with. And it happens on a subconscious level. And then the mind presents you with this interpretation. And no one has probably ever told you that that interpretation has very little to do with the reality that you are actually confronted with. This, the, the funny thing is that this interpretation of reality creates a worldview that you then subscribe to. And then the mind puts you on a, a, a seeking journey. It, it seeks other human beings that are carrying an interpretation of reality that matches yours. And then when human beings, they find, then they create groups of human beings with the same interpretation of reality. And then they constantly confirm each other. This is how it is. Or this is how things ought to be. This is how things should be. And sometimes these groups, they grow and they grow and they grow and they gain power. And then they try to impose their ideas about reality. 
And then, of course, other people, people who has another interpretation of reality, they resist. No, we do not want your, <laughs> your version of reality. And then you have a conflict. And there are conflicts everywhere. That is not entirely true, because the conflicts are only one place, and that is inside the human mind. There are no conflicts in the outer world. All conflicts, all wars, they start inside the human mind, and that is the only place that they can be ended. All conflicts, all wars, they start inside the human mind, and that is the only place that they can be ended. And the only way to end this conflict is within oneself. You cannot end this mental ignorance, this mental conflict in another human being. Because if you try to do that, then you start and manifest a new conflict in the outer world. And as I said, that is what is going on everywhere. There are no conflicts in the outer world. The only place there is conflict is inside the human mind. And it is a result of this completely automatic interpreting of what is perceived. And the conflict is a result of not knowing that that is what is going on. The beauty of all this is that when you recognize that this, when you see this very clearly, and when you start being committed to ending conflict inside yourself, from that moment on, you are a part of the solution. And you are no longer a part of the problem. What I have just described is the only remedy for the madness that are being manifested in the world. It is all inside of you. So that is what we are doing here together. We are increasingly becoming a part of the solution and increasingly leaving the problems behind. And we are doing that by ending the conflict inside ourselves. And the way that we are ending conflict inside ourselves is that we are shining a light of awareness upon what it is that is going on inside the mind. And as we learn that, the grip, the mental prison that we have been that we have been slaves of for so long, that mental prison starts to fall apart. And we are liberated. 
and then start living that liberation. Start living it in everyday life. Manifesting no conflict. It is not necessary. As a matter of fact, manifesting conflict is what is behind all the madness in the world. So we will be liberated from the madness. And then we are a part of the solution. And a part of that solution is that we are maturing as human beings. The human being is still in its infancy. And some people call what we have manifested, some people call that a civilization. <laughs> Open your eyes. How could we possibly call this a civilization? We are fighting each other everywhere. Not necessarily with weapons. The mental game. That is what we are doing here together. We are liberating the human being by shining a light upon all those unconscious habits. We're shining a light upon the ignorance that we have been fit with the ignorance that has been programmed into us, that ignorance is what perpetuates the madness. But we are shining a light upon it. And by doing that, we are a part of the solution. And that is very, very beautiful. Thank you for listening, my friend.